Well, hey there, it's me, Dulce. I love to learn, and I learn new and exciting things every day, just like you. Today, I have a super cool adventure planned. I'm going to outer space. A rocket ship can take us far off the Earth's surface. It's almost like an airplane, but it has a lot more power and can go much, much higher. I'm talking out of this atmosphere. An atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds a planet. Would you like to come with me? Rough-tastic. Let's take our seats and buckle up so that we can be safe while the ship is in motion. All right, prepare for launch. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Woohoo! Wow, there is so much to see out here. There are stars, planets, asteroids, and more. Whoa, check it out! Everything is floating. We must have escaped Earth's gravitational force. Did you know that in outer space, there is no gravity? It's almost like flying. Do you know the closest star to planet Earth? It's the sun. The sun is just like all the other stars we see when we look up at the night sky. What makes the sun such a special star is that it is the star we travel around over and over. That time span is where we get the length of a year from. It takes 365 days to complete one circle around the sun. Pretty cool, right? Did you know that the sun, earth, the moon, other planets and their moons are all a part of the solar system? Let's check the adventure log to help guide us along our outer space journey. Our solar system has a total of eight planets. There are four inner planets and four outer planets. Let's try to find each planet so that we will have enough marks for a shiny new sticker. How about we look for the inner planets first? The first planet in our solar system is Mercury. In addition to Mercury being closest to the Sun, it is also the smallest of all the planets. A year on Mercury is quite short because it travels around the Sun so quickly. It only takes 88 days. Let's hop on over to the next planet, Venus which is actually the most similar planet to Earth in size and atmosphere density. However, this atmosphere is nowhere near livable. It even contains sulfuric acid. Although it is not the closest planet to the sun, its atmosphere makes it the hottest planet in the entire solar system. Can you guess the next planet? I'll give you a hint. You spend lots of time there. Earth, that's right. One of the interesting things about Earth is that it has a tilt of 23.5 degrees. This is actually what gives us season. Another interesting thing about Earth is how much of its surface is covered by water. About 70%. That's more than half. Speaking of half, do you know a planet that is about half the size of Earth? It's Mars! The diameter of Mars, the distance between two opposite points, is about half of Earth's. One interesting thing about Mars is how similar the surface is to that of Earth. It has mountains, valleys, ice caps, and even volcanoes. Sometimes, when volcanoes erupt on Mars, there can be bodies of liquid water, just like how Earth has lakes. We have found Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. That's all four of the inner planets. Can we mark each inner planet box in the adventure log? That's right! 
We're making great progress. Compared to the inner planets, the outer planets are much further apart from each other. So we better put the pedal to the metal. Uh-oh. It looks like there's a dense cloud ahead. We better slow down. Wait. Are those... space rocks? Those are... asteroids! We must be passing through the asteroid belt! Watch out! There's a big one coming up above us! Oh no! Straight ahead! Dodge left! Dodge right! Whoa! What a wild, crazy experience! Did you know about the asteroid belt? It seems to be a band of rocky particles ranging greatly in size that orbit the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. Sometimes these asteroids break apart and their pieces enter the Earth's atmosphere where they burn up along their path. That's actually what a shooting star is. Anyway, I'm glad we made it through the asteroid belt. That was intense. Next stop, Jupiter! Jupiter is actually the largest of all eight planets in our solar system. It is one of the gas giants. This planet is mostly made of gases. However, if we were to travel to the center, the pressure would turn gases into liquid. Going further in, eventually we would find Jupiter's rocky core. Jupiter is so big and bright that if you know where to look, you can see this planet in the night sky. Let's venture a bit further out. Whoa! Look over there! That must be Saturn. You can tell by the very obvious rings. Saturn is quite the interesting planet. It too is a gas giant, like Jupiter. Saturn is known for having seven rings. This planet must be one serious champion. In addition to all of the rings, Saturn has more moons than any other planet in the entire solar system. It is estimated that Saturn has a total of 82 moons. How do you even keep track of all of those? Now that we are all the way out here, I'm realizing that I can see planets I wouldn't normally see from Earth with my own eyes. How about we take a trip to Uranus, because we're in this together. Uranus has quite the interesting strut as it goes around the Sun. Unlike most planets that rotate along an essentially vertical axis, which is up and down, Uranus rotates along an essentially horizontal axis, which means side to side. Instead of spinning while it orbits the Sun, it is more like a ball that rolls circles around the Sun. Next, we have the furthest of all planets from the Sun, Neptune. Like Uranus, Neptune is made of different gases turning into ice as you get closer to the core, which would make sense since it's so far from the Sun. Being so far from the Sun, one orbit on Neptune takes almost 165 Earth years. Neptune was discovered in 1846. However, before its discovery, it was believed to exist because of Uranus's abnormal orbital behavior. It seems these two planets' gravity has an effect on each other. They must be pretty close friends. Now that we have visited the last planet in our solar system, we have all four of the outer planets. Let's mark them in the adventure log. There was Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That's all four of the outer planets. Great work! It looks like we are getting pretty close to that cloudy looking area up ahead. I wonder what that is. Hmm, it must be the Kuiper Belt. It's similar to the asteroid belt. However, this area of the solar system is filled with comets and other icy bodies 
in addition to asteroids. I don't think we should endure another asteroid belt situation. Maybe it's about time that we head on back to Earth. Wow, what an amazing day. I would say we have covered a lot of ground, but we have not touched ground since we left Earth. We saw so much and learned so much too. We learned some cool facts about each of the eight planets, both inner and outer. We even passed through the asteroid belt and learned where shooting stars come from. Let's check the adventure log to see if we marked all of the items. Check it out! All eight boxes for all eight planets have been marked. Now we get the outer space sticker. I'm so glad you were able to join me. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to like and subscribe to come along on my next adventure. See you later.